these are such nice shoes. I love them, and you can't see them in the frame, so thank you for letting me oh, no, display them. Oh, look at my socks. My socks match my suit. I they know. match. I know. We they're so good. cute. Oh, it's Wednesday, guys. I'm Hank Chen. I'm Hillary Rushford, and this is another episode of VPL. And you guys already saw our episode about bridal style, but with summer wedding season, today we are talking bridesmaids and wedding guests. I've been both. Anyways, Hillary, I would assume that you're romantic, right? Does crying at the notebook every time you see it, even if you only come in at the last five minutes on TBS count? I have no idea what you're talking about, but okay, I would yes, assume you're yeah, mm -hmm, totally. Well, I generally am a romantic until I actually end up at a wedding. Because let me tell you, the worst thing about a wedding is sitting through that How We Met slideshow. You know what I'm talking about? The, the <laughs> yeah. ba da 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 da. Other than that, I am a romantic. Okay, well, what drives me crazy about weddings is when you ask five grown women mm. to go to a really important event where everyone's dressed up fancy and you're gonna take photos for all time wearing matching dresses. So tragic. It's not appropriate anywhere no. else in life. I'm not sure why we've decided it's appropriate at weddings, but it's really not. It's mortifying as a girl. Yeah, so, it'll break up friendships. Yeah, not don't good. put your bridesmaids through that. I'm all about the coordinating but not matching trend that's really popular right now. There's three things you need to think about, and my tip is you gotta coordinate on at least two of them. It's length, fabric, and color. And then you can really let people accessorize too. You don't all need matching shoes, you don't all need the same matching little one diamond necklace. Let people be themselves. So in life, you're gonna be a wedding guest more than you're gonna be a bridesmaid, even though I get asked all the time. <laughs> but when it comes to being a wedding guest, yeah. you really need to prepare yourself for the day. So what are your tips? One of them is to bring some flats. Once the night progresses and you're on the dance floor, no one's taking those full length photos anymore. My tip is fabrics that breathe. You know, oftentimes weddings will take place during the spring or in the summertime, so we'll be hot because, you know, it's gonna get wet and wild. You know, a lot of sweat stains are probably gonna come up. You just want some nice cottons. You want some light, airy fabrics that really are gonna regulate your body while you guys are working it out. I also always think about flat hair. Mm. You're gonna be there all day. I happen to have fine hair, so I always throw a teasing comb. It's maybe three bucks at the beauty supply store. Right. It's really little. Throw that in your purse. You can step into the bathroom and just give yourself a little bit of volume Fluff here at the crown as the night progresses so that you still look cute in those photos that you're inevitably gonna be tagged in on Facebook five seconds later. Okay, so let's talk menswear. If you wanna give your groomsmen some individuality, consider maybe doing different color ties but all in the same pattern of plaid or dots or something, or maybe a pocket square that's all pulled from the same palette. So the same rules applies when it comes to bridesmaids dresses as it does to men's clothes. To get you guys some more tips, we headed out to Central Park to talk to you. Yeah. I think it's nice that, you know, you still see some of the personality of the bridesmaids in what they're wearing. You know, sometimes you look at bridesmaids and you're like, really? Did they make you wear that? It literally could have been AstroTurf in color and texture. And you know, when the bride loves the color and you're a bridesmaid, this what is can true. you do? Well, we did our own thing. We were completely different looking. Definitely, again, not stealing the spotlight of the bride. So you don't wear something black, you don't wear something red, mm. you don't wear something white. And then, uh, of course, you want to keep it as simple and subtle as possible, not too sexy, not too much uh, cleavage. cleavage or not too short. Shoes Take off. your shoes off very early. <laughs> yeah. Dance the whole night because if the dancing gets really fancy and it gets late, it's just great to get up your shoes. I wish you said if the dancing gets fancy. fancy. Like it's not just like <laughs> this, the polite sidestep, but like fancy once dancing. people are really into it. Before we go today, we've got to do hashtag VP love, hashtag VP leave, and today's is all about wedding gifts. Who doesn't love gifts? Now, first one up, charities or philanthropy. If you've got everything you need, you're getting married later in life, it's always great to ask your friends to donate towards a cause or charity that you believe in. Hashtag VP love. Honeymoon registries, VP love. I'm not big on things, so I love getting to support someone in an experience. Formal China, hashtag VP, leave, leave, leave. I mean, unless your grandparents are getting married, or, you know, it's just very dated, don't do it. Or if you're marrying a senator, they're gonna be having lots of fancy dinner parties. Of course, with gold trim and whatnot. Going rogue, this is getting someone something that's not on their registry. And I, VP, love this with caution. When you've picked out everything you want on Christmas morning and you get every single thing, there's no element of surprise. I see this misfiring so badly, but I see what you're saying. So this next one is something that I've just started to hear about, wishing well or asking for cash. VP leave, that's very tacky. If I'm being asked to just give cash, I'm like, it's like I'm a patron at a strip club, doling out my 20s, you know, I'm just gonna. <laughs> you spend a lot of money at strip clubs. I, I give out 20s when I go to the strip clubs. I don't. 
Thank you guys so much for watching another episode of VPL. We will see you back here next Wednesday. That's right. Find us on Twitter, Hankster Chen and Hillary Rushford. And in the comments below, we would love to hear what's your favorite song to get down to on the dance floor at a wedding. What, what, what is your favorite dance song? Um, that Kanye, uh, if I was him, I would have married Kate and Ashley. Mm -hmm. I love that song. My favorite song, uh, Waterfalls. Don't go chasing waterfalls. Please stick to the river.